Today I'm going to show you how to make lollipop inserts for your exhaust. I went to Truck Supply and bought these round rail end caps. And there's only six bucks a piece. And I bought some washers and some nylon uh, lock nuts. I had the eye hooks laying around. Basically, sawed it through here. I had to space mine out because it was too long. And you use a washer on both sides so it don't pull through the pipe. I bent mine up like, you know, the fancy ones on the internet. Mine just bolt in where the baffles went. If you don't have that, you have to drill a hole. But as you can see, they just bolt in there like that. That's where my baffles would have set before. Really can't see them, but they're in there. Homemade ones, because I'm not paying 40 some dollars for something I can make for eight bucks. So I'll go ahead and fire it up here so you can hear it. A lot of people's going to ask me what these things do and honestly they give you back your low and mid um, uh, zip because people like me take the baffles out and you kind of lose a little bit of back pressure and you kind of lose that zip at the bottom end in the mid-range and uh, when making these and you're putting them in there what it does is it gives you a little bit of back pressure and it gives you that rip again and another thing that I noticed especially if you're in a Honda VTX like mine. I got Cobra slip-ons. And uh, the thing is with those, it sounds like a tin can when you take the baffles out. I can't stand the sound of the Cobra slip-ons with the baffles in it. It sounds good when it's idling, but going down a road, it just sounds horrible to me. So I like my bikes a little loud. And when I pulled the baffles out, it was super loud and it sounded like a tin can and it sounded like a machine gun going off when I let off the gas. When you make these little lollipops, you stick them in there, it gives you a little bit of back pressure and it also does away with a lot of that sound. Not completely on the VTX, but it does away with a lot of that sound and it gives it a deeper tone and it breaks up that loudness and that tin can sound, okay? So it doesn't sound so harsh and your neighbors will thank you. And your ears will thank you when you're going past the building because before I rip on it and it just deafened my right ear. That's what that's for. You can buy these on the internet. They're like almost 40 bucks, 30 bucks. And they pretty much did the same thing I did, except they take a piece of all thread and they weld it on a washer or round piece and they bend it up and have it powder coated and they sell it to you like it's some big thing. It's really not. I just. You seen what I bought, and I just put the eye hooks in there for strength, and that's what I had on hand also. And it works just fine. Just make sure you lock tight it, use nylon nuts, and it works fine. There's not a problem with it. And it helps with the sound, and it makes it sound way better when you're on the gas and all that good stuff. So it does give you your low and mid-range back. I'm not here to sell you snake oil, um, honestly. Make them, see if you like them, and if you want to buy the real thing, you can. There's a chart on the internet that I went by in the exact same size. Uh, that thing that I bought is the exact same size that they sell on, on uh, their site for my size pipe. So I just bought that. It was six bucks and the eye hooks I already had. For And then you can buy the bolts if you wanted to instead of digging through a bucket like I did. Probably like $1.20. And that's basically all you do. And it sounds a lot better and it performs a lot better. And I do notice a little bit of a difference in sound and in performance.